so hi you guys i know it's been a while ignore that noise my washer is on right now i have i haven't been well i had to take down some of my videos because i had to do a but i'm gonna put them back up soon there was just something going on so i had to take them down anyway so today i decided to talk about some of my i think most of the zambian artists that are underrated in my country the female ones that is and when I look at what's going on on their Facebook pages and to see how much misogyny is going down on their pages and to see how much they are hated, it just saddens me because we do not have the exposure for the female Zambian artists is not as much as the ones that the, the male artists get. Like we find more uh, artists, music by male artists is played more by DJs and so uh, and so on. But for the females, it's not that much, and I, I, I have no idea why. So today, I just decided to make a list of some of my, I think, the underrated, very good artists, in, female artists, in my opinion, because I like the music that they do, and I think they're very talented, and they bring something different to, um, to, the, to, the, to the industry. They, they, they are different. So the first one, the first one, and I love her, she's a mother of two, and... To me, she has gone through so much. I've read about her story. She wrote the story herself, and I already see what she's gone through, how she's managed to come out of it and still do what she loves, which is music. And to me, the first one, the first one on the page is Dambisa. Like, I really like her, and she does great music. I was listening to, I don't even know why she doesn't remove as many songs as I would like her to, but I usually go on her page and get the, the music from there. She usually puts out the links to her music. So if you guys can go out and check some of her music, it's really good. It, she does dance hall and I think she's really beautiful and she does, she's, she's great. <laughs> she's my go-to Zambian female artist. That's my number one. Uh, a lot of people, of course, will be like, oh my god, because it's such a norm of what a woman should do, but she's an artist and she doesn't care. She's like, I do this. And I think she does it for herself and for the love of the, the music. So she does it. And that's one thing I like about her. The second one is Kachanana. Yeah, it's the controversial Kachanana. Like Dambisa, she doesn't care. Like, she just does her. Like, I'm going to put it out there. This is me. Deal with it. You like it? Okay. You don't? Okay. The controversy started when she wore a bikini. I don't know why that was so so controversial but whatever she's got a great voice she is very talented she can sing the girl can sing like she can perform she can dance she girl <laughs> do you like for me catching on is my go-to girl when I want to dance whole Zambia for the females of course that means I'll be playing in the house Kachanana just brings this flavor this different Afro house to to I just think it's beautiful. Ooh, the light is in. Oh, hello. I just think it's beautiful. Um, Kachanana. So there's Zambisa and Kachanana. So you guys go out and check on their pages, listen to the music, go on YouTube. These girls are really good. Um, the third one. Unfortunately, for the third one, like I was listening to her music yesterday. She comes from a copper belt. Um, she's a hip hop artist. She was signed on to Dice, but I have forgotten her name, and I'm so so sorry. I will try to put it in the description box once I find the name and then you guys can check it out in the description box. She's so talented and, and and unfortunately, apparently she just stopped doing the music. I was like, but why? She is so good. Because the female artists are, are looked upon like they're not, they're nothing, like their music is not played. Nobody's pushing for female artists to do their music. Anyway, again from the copper belt comes uh, Baby Berry, like a lover. She is also very different. Um, she's still doing music. So I hear I have her promo CD which was so good. I like that banana song of hers. I was just like, yes, girl. Yes. <laughs> I love Baby Berry. I love her music. I haven't heard a song that I haven't liked from Baby Berry actually. Starting from this from the, the song she did with, with, with PJ all the way to, 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 to the banana track that she did on her promo album. I was just be like this this girl, yes. This girl, yes. Um another one i think that's for me personally i don't know about you guys but you could ignore my nails they're a mess i don't know about you guys but for me those i think those artists are very underrated and i wish i wish i could do more to help or help at least do something i don't know what to do but 
of course I'm gonna keep promoting them um, putting them out there like on YouTube and Facebook sharing their music that's at least that's the least I could do to get the word out so if you know any DJs out there just encourage them to play more female you know good music of course we want good music we just don't want because you're a female then your music is played no I would like good artists with passion and like the girls I just mentioned so shout out to all of you guys who keep supporting the female Zami artists who are not represented whose music is not played as it should because girl boy man woman whatever listen to those music and get back to me tell me what you think about um, my little list of I think the artists who are underrated in my country of course there are those who are overrated like somebody I know who I'm not gonna mention but whatever so thank you for, so much for watching my little rant and I will put up my other videos also but for now remember to subscribe and thank you so much for watching